Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we are going to cover the most important questions of 4th week of January. On which date the International Day of Education is observed every year? So it is observed on 24th of January and it is observed by UNESCO. And the theme of this year's International Day of Education is Learning for People, Planet, Prosperity and Peace. Ministry of Rural Development has recently signed an Memorandum of Understanding with which of the following organizations? So recently, MORD, that is Ministry of Rural Development, signed Memorandum of Understanding with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And this memorandum is under Deen Dayal Antyodhya National Rural Livelihood Mission. Who has been recently awarded with the Subhash Chandra Bose Aapda Prabandhan Puruskar 2020? So recently, on 20. 3rd of January, the birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was celebrated. Which state has recently made reading of preamble to the constitution as a mandatory practice in schools? So recently, Madhya Pradesh government made it mandatory. So as per the order, preamble would be read out every Saturday by the headmaster or by the teacher in all schools after prayer along with the students. Which state's tourism department has received the special mention honor as Amazing Global Destination in the United Nations World Tourism Organization Global Destination Award of 2019? So, it is Kerala government and the Barrier Free Tourism Project implemented by the Kerala Tourism has received the special mention honor as Amazing Global Destination. So what is the name of award recently presented by the Indian President to the Children in the field of Innovation, Social Service, Sports, Art and Culture as well as in the field of Bravery. So the name of this award is Pal Sakti Proskar and the President of India Mr. Ramnath Kovin recently presented the award to 49 children in the age group of 5 to 18 years. What is the current investment limit for FPI? in government and corporate bonds after the recent directions of Reserve Bank of India. So recently RBI increased the investment limit for FPI in government and corporate bonds. The previous limit was 20%. Now it has been increased to 30%. Which organization is set to develop the national data and analytics platform? So Niti Aayog is going to develop the national data and analytics platform that is NDAP and recently it was in news because the vice chairman of Niti Aayog released the vision document for this platform and the first version of NDAP will be released in 2021. India recently handed over the consignment of measles and rubella vaccines to which country after a suspected outbreak. So recently India handed over the vaccines to Maldives to control the outbreak of measles in the country. It should be kept in mind that though Maldives has eliminated the spread of measles, the government of Maldives suspected an outbreak and therefore Indian government provided the help. World Holocaust Forum was recently convened in which city to remember the Holocaust and counter anti-Semitism. So this forum was recently convened in Jerusalem. Which country recently conducted the training launch of nuclear capable surface to surface ballistic missile Ghaznavi? So, it was conducted by Pakistan. It is a surface to surface ballistic missile. The Exim Bank has recently extended $35.8 million line of credit to which South American country to fund its rural electrification program? So, recently, Exim Bank, that is Export Import Bank of India on the behalf of Government of India extended this line of credit to Suriname for the funding of rural electrification project. What is the GDP growth rate of India in fiscal year 2021 as estimated by India Ratings and Research? So India Ratings and Research has recently estimated that the GDP of India to grow at 5.5% and as per the rating agency the growth would improve in upcoming time but 
the country's economy is stuck in low consumption, low investment phase. On which date the National Girl Child Day is celebrated annually in our country? So it is celebrated on 24th of January and it was started by Women and Child Development Ministry in 2008. Russia has been selected as the focal theme country of which International Book Fair of India? So recently, Kolkata Book Fair selected Russia as the focal theme country. The first e-waste clinic of India was recently opened in which city? So it was opened in Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh and it was jointly set up by CPCB that is Central Pollution Control Board and BMC that is Bhopal Municipal Corporation. The election commission of which country is to take over the chair of Forum of Election Management Bodies of South Asia in 2020? So, election commission of India is to take over the chair of this forum. Recently, election commission of India hosted the annual meeting of this forum in New Delhi. Which public sector enterprise under the Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals was approved to be shut down recently. So recently HFL that is Hindustan Fluorocarbons Limited which is a subsidiary of Hindustan Organic Chemicals Limited that is HOCL. Which country was ranked first on the breastfeeding rate according to a new survey conducted by World Breastfeeding Trends Initiative. So this country is Sri Lanka and Sri Lanka is the top performer as per the survey conducted by WBTI. What is India's ranking as per recently released CPI that is Corruption Perception Index? So India is on 80th rank as per this recently released CPI. This index is released by Transparency International. The first edition of Ganga Volga Dialogue was recently held in New Delhi to enhance the bilateral cooperation between India and which country? So this Ganga Volga dialogue held in New Delhi to enhance the cooperation between India and Russia. And this dialogue was organized by MEA that is Ministry of External Affairs in association with Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee Research Foundation. The International Summit on Women in STEM that is Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics was recently held in which city? So this summit held in New Delhi and the theme was Visualizing the Future New Skylines. What is the theme of National Voters Day which is celebrated across the country? So National Voters Day is celebrated every year on 25th of January and for the first time it was celebrated in 2011. And it is celebrated because on this day in 1950 Election Commission of India was established. And the theme for this year's National Voters Day was Electoral Literacy or Stronger Democracy. India signed Memorandum of Understanding with World Bank for Agribusiness and Rural Transformation Project of which state? So recently, Government of India and State Government of Maharashtra and World Bank signed a loan agreement of $210 million for the Agribusiness and Rural Transformation Project of State of Maharashtra. Which Indian private sector bank has recently launched its wealth management platform called Pioneer Banking? So recently, Indus End Bank launched its wealth management platform Pioneer Banking. Which steel plant of India was recently awarded at World Economic Forum annual meet for being included in the Lighthouse Network of World Economic Forum? So this is Tata Steel Kalingnagar plant. And in July 2019, it became the first and only Indian manufacturing plant to be included in the Lighthouse Network of World Economic Forum. The Global Consortium for Digital Currency Governance was recently announced by which organization? So this consortium was announced at the annual meeting of World Economic Forum. And this consortium focused on creating a framework for governance of digital currencies. Jair Bolsonaro, who was the chief guest of Republic Day celebrations of India, is the president of which country? So, he is the president of Brazil, 
and he was a chief guest for this year's Republic Day ceremony. The International Children's Film Festival was recently inaugurated in which South Asian country with the theme Under the World. So this was inaugurated in Dhaka in Bangladesh. Now Bangladesh was also in news as recently it became the first South Asian country to introduce e-passport. India has signed an agreement with which country to upgrade Ashuganj Akura Road into four lane highway. So India and Bangladesh signed an agreement to upgrade the Ashuganj Akura Road into four lane highway. This will improve the connectivity between India and Bangladesh. So as you can see in the map, this is Ashuganj and this is Akura. The ban on which Indian Sports Federation has been lifted recently by the international regulator ahead of Tokyo 2020. So right answer is Archery Association of India. So recently this ban was removed by the World Archery so that the Indian players can participate in the Tokyo Olympics. Union Minister of Tribal Affairs has proposed six scheduled area status to which Union Territory of India. So it was proposed for Ladakh. Now why six scheduled? Area status because areas under six schedule are granted significant autonomy and they get the powers to make their own laws. India's first war memorial for service animals is to be set up in which city? So it will be set up in Meerut in Uttar Pradesh. Recently Uttar Pradesh was in news as India's first university for transgenders will be set up in Kushinagar in Uttar Pradesh. On which date National Tourism Day is celebrated across country? So it is celebrated on 25th of January. Now this is National Tourism Day that is celebrated on 25th of January. Which Indian airport introduced a service called Women with Wheels Taxi Service for Women operated by women drivers? So this was started at IGI Airport, New Delhi. And the service is initiated by Sakha Cabs. So the taxis are driven by women drivers and transport services are provided only to the female passengers. And this was launched at IGI airport in New Delhi. The government of India has signed an agreement with which Indian multinational corporation to improve the performance of GSTN portal. So for this, the government of India has signed an agreement with Infosys. The online monitoring platform named Gati was recently launched by which union ministry? So this was launched by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways and this portal is created by NHAI. NHAI stands for National Highway Authority of India. Which zone of Indian Railways has commissioned the government's first waste to energy plant? So it is East Coast Railway. Actually East Coast Railway has commissioned the government's first waste to energy plant. Who has been recently conferred with the Harit Ratan Award in the field of agriculture? So recently, Mr. N. Kumar, the Vice Chancellor of Tamil Nadu Agricultural University has been conferred Harit Ratan Award by the All India Agriculture Students Association. The country's first super fab lab, that is fabrication laboratory, is to be set up in which state? So it will be set up in Kerala and recently it was launched and the facility was inaugurated by Chief Minister of Kerala, Mr. Pinarai Vijayan. Which legendary Indian sportsperson was awarded with the prestigious Padma Vibhushan award recently? So recently, Ms. MC Marigom, who is a well-known boxer, was conferred the Padma Vibhushan award on the Republic Day ceremony. How many personalities who are selected for the Padma Bhushan Award? So recently, 16 personalities were selected for Padma Bhushan. So total 141 Padma Awards were announced this year. The National Tourism Conference of year 2020 was recently organized in which city? So it was organized in Odisha in Konark and this was organized jointly by the State Government of Odisha and FICCI. Mark Rutte 
who was seen in news recently is the prime minister of which country so mr mark rutte is the prime minister of netherlands and recently he was in news as he made the country's first apology for the persecution of jews during second world war which city plays host to the annual event bharat parv 2020 which celebrates the spirit of india so this bharat parv is an annual festival and this is being celebrated in new delhi national institute of rural development and panchayati raj has recently partnered with which global organization to establish a communication resource unit so recently nir dpr partnered with unicef for this communication resource unit india's first biggest walk through ivory with over 100 species of birds was recently inaugurated in which city so recently the chief minister of maharashtra mr uddhav thakre inaugurated this country's first and biggest walk through ivory what is the name of national award that is given to a person for meritorious act of human nature in saving the life of a person so recently president mr ramnath kovind approved jeevan raksha padak series of awards and total 54 personalities were selected for these awards shiv bhojan scheme which is aimed at providing a meal to the poor at subsidized rates was recently launched in which state of india so it was launched in maharashtra and as per the scheme food is provided at subsidized rates so one plate food is provided for 10 rupees Sir Singh Kokkal who passed away recently was the famous personality of which field so Mr Sir Singh was associated to art he was a well known artist and sculptor Kobe Bryant who recently died in a helicopter crash was a legendary personality of which sports so Mr Bryant was associated to basketball which web series recently made a guinness world record in the largest indian cinematic music band category so recently the forgotten army web series by filmmaker mr kabir khan has created a guinness world record for being the biggest ever team of musicians to perform live in the category of largest indian cinematic music band which state recently hosted the innovation festival in collaboration with national innovation foundation so recently arunachal pradesh hosted the innovation festival in collaboration with national innovation foundation of india the bse that is bombay stock exchange has signed a licensing agreement with which global operator of exchanges and clearing houses so recently agreement was signed between bse and ICE Futures of Europe Which Indian journalist has been selected as the outstanding media person in a national award of Kerala Media Academy So Mr N Ram the chairman of the Hindu group has been selected as the outstanding media person in a national award instituted by Kerala Media Academy On which date International Customs Day is celebrated across the world so it is celebrated on 26th of january and it was introduced by wco that is world customs organization in 1983 to mark the anniversary of formation of customs cooperation council which country recently introduced a new scheme of fast track visa to attract scientists so recently uk took this decision to introduce a new scheme a fast track visa to attract world's best scientist which chess player won the title of tata steel masters chess tournament right answer is fabiano caruana so mr fabiano caruana of usa has won the title of tata steel masters chess tournament who is the 18 year old artist who won four prizes at Grammy Awards 2020 So recently Miss Billie Eilish from USA 
has won the top four prizes at Grammy Awards. She won the Record of Year Award, Song of the Year, Best Album, and Best New Artist Award. The government of India and the state government of Assam recently signed a tripartite agreement with which tribal group? So recently, a tripartite agreement was signed. Now, what is the meaning of this tripartite? It means three parties. So one is central government, another one is state government of Assam, and third is Bodo group. So this tripartite agreement was signed, and as per this agreement, Bodo Territorial Area District, that is BTAD, will be renamed as BTR in Assam. BTR stands for Bodo Land Territorial Region. With state assembly recently passed a resolution to abolish the state's legislative council. So recently, Andhra Pradesh state assembly passed a resolution to abolish the legislative council of state. What is the percentage of government stake in Air India which is announced to be divested? So it is 100%. So as per the recent announcement by the government, 100% of equity share capital of Air India is on sale. Which Indian city was the host of third global potato conclave of 2020? So Gandhinagar was the host and Prime Minister of India addressed this conclave through video conferencing. And this was the third global potato conclave. Which Indian ship builder is to deliver the anti-submarine stealth warship INS Kavrati to Indian Navy? So it is GRC that is Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers. So GRC will deliver the anti-submarine stealth warship to Indian Navy. The world's smallest gold chain which features Albert Einstein is recently released by which country? So it was released by Switzerland and this is world's smallest gold coin. Marzan Sarek who was in news after his resignation was the Prime Minister of which country? So he was the Prime Minister of Slovenia and recently he submitted his resignation and called for an early election. Who has been appointed as the Chief Executive of IBA that is Indian Banks Association? So recently Mr. Sunil Mehta has taken charge as the Chief Executive of IBA. Which Indian theatre artist is to be conferred the prestigious French owner Knight of the Order of Arts and Letters? Right answer is Sanjana Kapoor. So the Vaitan theatre personality and the daughter of Mr. Sasi Kapoor, artist Sanjana Kapoor is to be presented the French owner Knight of Order of Arts and Letters. Which Indian squash player became the runner-up in the Pittsburgh Open Squares Tournament. So recently, Mr. Saurav Ghosal became the runner-up in the Pittsburgh Open Squares Tournament after he lost to the Fares Dasoki. He is from Egypt. Which country recently unveiled the historic coin with the inscription Peace, Prosperity and Friendship with All Nations with the date of 31st of January 2020? So from the date itself, you can guess that, okay, it is UK and UK has released this 50 pence coin and this date is date of Brexit and this coin is minted to mark the leaving of country from the European Union. The International Holocaust Remembrance Day is observed globally on which date? So it is observed on 27th of January and recently the World Holocaust Forum held in Israel. Return Indian sportsperson Sunita Chandra who passed away recently was associated to which sport? So she was associated to hockey and she was the captain of Indian women's hockey team. The Indian Railways is expected to be electrified by which year as per the recent statement of Union Railway Minister. So as per recent statement of Mr. Pius Goel, Indian Railway is expected to be electrified by 2024.
that means it is set to run entirely on electricity by 2024. India's first underwater metro project is set to be launched in which city? So India's first underwater metro project, the east-west project of Kolkata Metro Rail Corporation is set to be launched by March 2022. And this metro project runs partly under the famous Hooghly River. The birth anniversary of which Indian freedom fighter was celebrated on 28th of January and this freedom fighter is popularly known as Punjab Kesri. So recently, the 155th birth anniversary of Lala Lajpat Rai was celebrated across country on 28th of January. The 12th National Conference on Safety in Mines was recently inaugurated in which city? So it was inaugurated in New Delhi and it was inaugurated by Minister of State for Labour and Employment, Mr. Santosh Kumar Gangwar. As per the Agricultural Department's final estimates, what is the estimated total horticulture production of the country in 2018-19? So recently, final estimates were released by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and the total horticulture production in our country in 2018-19 was 310.74 million ton. Which Indian state recently signed Memorandum of Understanding with the Government E-Marketplace to set up a Government E-Marketplace Organizational Transformation Team that is GOTT unit. So recently, Government of Uttar Pradesh signed agreement with Government E-Marketplace and this Government E-Marketplace is under Commerce Ministry. What is the theme of Defence Expo 2020? Right answer is India, the amazing defence manufacturing hub. So, the 11th edition of Defence Expo is going to be in Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh. And the theme is India, the amazing defence manufacturing hub. And the sub-theme is Digital Transformation of Defence. The Supreme Court of India recently permitted to introduce which animal to Indian habitat from Namibia. So recently, Supreme Court permitted the central government to introduce African cheetah to the appropriate habitats in India. How many wetlands in India were recently added to the Ramsar site list? So recently, Union Environment Minister Mr. Prakash Javadekar announced that 10 more sites have been declared as sites of international importance by Ramsar. The Tableau of which state has won the best Tableau awards for Republic Day Parade 2020? So the Tableau of Assam won the best Tableau award for Republic Day Parade. Who was recently appointed as the Ambassador of India to United States? So Mr. Taranjit Singh Sandhu has been appointed as the next Indian Ambassador to US. The recently launched Bhuvan Panchayat web portal's new version uses the technology of which organization? So recently, Union Minister of State Mr. Jitendra Singh launched the new version of Bhuvan Panchayat web portal and this portal will function with the help of satellite technology developed by ISRO. Which Hindi word is chosen as Oxford Hindi word of 2019 by the Oxford University Press? So it is Savidhan. So this word Savidhan has been selected as the Oxford Hindi word of 2019 by the Oxford University Press and Savidhan means constitution. Which Indian QEist won the title at Senior National Billiards Championship? Right answer is Mr. Pankaj Adwani. So recently Mr. Pankaj Adwani won the title at the Senior National Billiards Championship and this is his 33rd national title. This tournament held in Pune and Mr. Pankaj Adwani defeated Mr. Saurabh Kothari. Union Social Justice Minister has recently inaugurated the Composite Regional Centre for Empowerment of Persons with Disabilities in which city. So recently, Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Mr. Thawachand Gehlot, inaugurated the CRC, that is Composite Regional Centre in 
Port Blair in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Skill Development Center to train tribals named Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel Center for Empowerment and Livelihoods is to be set up in which state of India. So recently the foundation stone for the Skill Development Center to train tribals of Kevadia village in Gujarat was laid down by the Minister of External Affairs Mr S Jayashankar who has been appointed as the executive director of the monetary policy department in RBI RBI is Reserve Bank of India so recently Mr Janak Raj has been appointed as the executive director of MP MPD that is monetary policy department SO Alban who was seen in news recently is associated to with sports right answer is cycling so mr alban is indian cyclist and he was in news recently as he won the gold medal in 6 day berlin tournament indian railways has commissioned the country's first governmental waste to energy plant in which city so recently this plant was commissioned by indian railways in bhuneshwar under east coast railway zone and this plant uses a technology named polycrack which country has launched a 4 million pound innovation challenge fund in india so recently the government of uk launched 4 million pound innovation challenge fund in india and this fund focus on two major tech clusters in indian states so these two focus areas are artificial intelligence and big data this will be in karnataka and another focus area is future mobility this will be in maharashtra for which west african country ntpc recently announced assistance for the development of solar power projects so recently ntpc that is national thermal power corporation has announced that it will provide assistance for the development of 300 megawatt solar power project in togo What is the name of mission carried out by Indian Navy to provide assistance to the cyclone affected population of Madagascar? So recently, Indian Navy engaged in providing humanitarian assistance and disaster relief to the cyclone affected population of Madagascar. And the name of this operation was Operation Vanilla. Actually, Madagascar was recently hit by a cyclone named Dian. So this is the name of cyclone and this is the name of operation conducted by indian navy to provide humanitarian assistance to the cyclone affected population of madagascar according to the recent report by cipri which country is the second largest arm producer of world cipri stands for stockholm international peace research institute so as per this report china is the world's second largest arms producer usa is largest arms producer of world As per the CIPRI report in 2017, China was on sixth position. Khalid bin Khalifa has been recently appointed as the Prime Minister of which Gulf country? So recently, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa has been named as the new Prime Minister and Interior Minister of Qatar. Capital of Qatar is Doha, and recently Qatar was in news as the first India-Qatar joint naval exercise, Jair Al Bahar, held in Doha in Qatar. Which state has recently launched a virtual police station under its flagship 5T initiative? So recently, Odisha government launched this 5T initiative, and this was launched by the Chief Minister of Odisha, Mr. Navin Patnaik. So a virtual police station will enable the citizens to lodge an FIR directly. Which district has topped the list of aspirational districts for the month of December? And this list. is released by niti ayog so adp that is aspirational district program is a program for the development of underdeveloped district and this was started in 2018 and this is a program for the transformation of underdeveloped districts and it track the progress in key sectors so on the basis of six key sectors recently the list was released by niti ayog and as per that Chandoli district of Uttar Pradesh is the top performer. What is the upper limit for legal abortion as per the medical termination of pregnancy bill 
which was recently approved by the cabinet so recently the mtp bill was approved by the cabinet and as per this the upper limit for legal abortion is 24 weeks the previous limit was 20 weeks so this medical termination of pregnancy act of 1971 is amended and the mtp bill 2020 was recently approved by the cabinet and this draft was proposed by obviously ministry of health and family welfare what is the theme of world sustainable development summit 2020 so the theme is towards 2030 goals making the decade count and the summit held in new delhi from 29th of january to 31st of january and it was organized by teri teri stands for the energy and resource institute so the summit was first organized in 2001 it provided a platform for the discussion of climatic issues the suraj kun international craft mela is a flagship annual event organized by with state so it is organized by haryana at suraj kund and that's why it is suraj kund international craft mela now this year himachal pradesh is selected as a theme state the chief minister of himachal pradesh is mr jairam thakur as per the recent survey of transparency international which state has been ranked at the top in budget formulation practices so assam is on top in terms of budget formulation practices as per the survey by transparency international and the four parameters were considered for the survey these are public disclosures budgetary process post budget fiscal management and transparency which indian has been recently appointed as the united nation resident coordinator in thailand so ms geeta sabarwal of india has been appointed as the UN resident coordinator in Thailand the resident coordinators are the representatives of United Nation development system and they support the member countries in achieving the SDG targets SDG stands for sustainable development goals Amazon India recently partnered with Eastern Railways to set up a pickup kiosk in which railway station so Amazon partnered with Eastern Railways to set up a pick up kiosk in the sialdeh railway station in kolkata now what is the meaning of this pick up kiosk actually by selecting the railway station as, as the pick up location the customer can pick up their package from the station itself which international smartphone firm recently signed a memorandum of understanding with iit hyderabad for the research and development projects so recently oppo signed mou with iit hyderabad for collaborating in r&d projects in emerging technologies such as image processing and artificial intelligence the headquarter of oppo is in china according to the recent report by the tom tom which is the most traffic congested city of the world so recently tom tom released a report and as per that report bengaluru is the world's most traffic congested city and the capital of philippines manila is on second position the first world neglected tropical disease day was celebrated on which date so it was celebrated on 30th of january to create awareness about the ntd that is neglected tropical disease these are caused by parasites and bacteria now why these are neglected because these disease mostly affect the developing or least developed countries the assam rifles force has constructed a war memorial for the personnel killed during insurgency now in which state this war memorial was constructed so it was constructed in nagaland and the name of this war memorial is veer smriti bala devi who was seen in news recently is associated with with sports so she is associated to football and she became the first indian women footballer to sign up with a professional football club actually recently the prestigious european club rangers women fc signed the indian footballer from manipur for 18 months so that is why she was in new 
which state has raised the stipend of unemployed youth to 5000 rupee under Yuva Swabhiman Yojana. So the state is Madhya Pradesh. Actually the scheme was started in January 2019 to provide 100 days of work and stipend to unemployed youth. Which Indian has been recently awarded the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement? So recently Mr. Pawan Sukhdev was awarded the Tyler Prize for Environmental Achievement. Mr. Sukhdev is the goodwill ambassador of UNEP. UNEP stands for United Nation Environment Program and the Tyler Prize was instituted in 1973 and it is considered as the Nobel Prize for Environment. Flipkart recently signed a memorandum of understanding with which states Handloom and Handicrafts Development Corporation for the promotion of local handicrafts. So Flipkart signed MOU with Gujarat for the promotion of local handicrafts and this is a part of initiative of Flipkart and the name of this initiative is Smart. Recently, which country set a Guinness world record for the highest altitude fashion show event? So this country is Nepal and Nepal organized this highest altitude fashion show event near the Mount Everest base camp and this is a new Guinness world record. So this initiative was a part of Visit Nepal 2020 and this was the campaign which was started by the Tourism Board of Nepal. So these were the most important questions of 4th week of January 2020. Thank you and that's all for the day.